Hey, James. Yes. We're here in Tent City, Nicholsville, I think Oh, yeah. Nicholsville. So, what are you doing right now? I'm right now I'm setting up this table for our kitchen area. So, we have something to place our food on when we get ready to cook. Hold on, let me get back to you with the. There's a kitchen area. Yeah. Yeah. So, you're, you're trying to create some place to. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Where you can keep your food and cook. Right, right, cooking. Look, little table here. It's, it's makeshift, but it'll work. I am part carpenter too, you know, roofer. Yeah. Anybody got some carpenter to do, roofing? Give me a holler here. This is unbelievable. <laughs> this is uh, like a well-organized little city. Oh yeah. Well, this is actually a community. We're gonna get bigger and bigger, and uh, we just need a permanent spot to do it. I mean, we choose this spot. We feel like it's a great spot. So they're in negotiation with us. At least they're listening to us. And uh, so far, so good. Things are going real good for us. So you 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 feeling positive that you're going to get a permanent place? Oh yeah, most definitely, most definitely. Last time they were here, I wasn't here. But I heard how they bulldozed them down and threw them out on the street. Hey. We broke a record already. This is our, like our tenth day here. Last time they only last like four days. Wow. So that's positive right there, you know. Oh no. I mean, we know the the shelters downtown are already full, man. You know, we got people sleeping on the bridges and doorways here. I mean, you got somewhere safe to come sleep. You know what I'm saying? Get a nice food. Get a nice meal in your belly, belly, and uh, get your thoughts together for the next day. You know, we're only. I mean, we're common people too you know what I mean you know we, we just good people made bad choices you know what I'm saying then the economy is in crisis I mean well you know what you know this is a great idea I think we're doing man really. I, I, I'm I'm speechless I don't have words to uh, yeah. how powerful this is to me and how cool it is yeah yeah really. but I also see more of this in America as, as the economy yeah, goes well hopefully how'd you get how how did you end up here briefly Briefly. Okay, I ended up here. I've only been up here four months. I come from uh, Jackson, Mississippi. I come up here looking for work, man. There's hardly no work down there. Eventually, I would like to get out and go to Alaska on a processor, do some fishing. I had a couple guys that came here up here with me. They're already gone. They left earlier part of last month. I got a lot of applications in, just waiting on the phone call. But until then, Hey, I'm down for this cause right here, man, because it's, it's kept me, hey, it's been a blessing that I found this place, man. Other than that, I would have been up under a bridge. I don't have no family here, you know? I'm sort of like the, uh, what you call it, uh, avenger of my family, you know what I'm saying? I, hey, one's got to go out and explore the world, you know? I guess that's me, you know? But, uh, yeah, I mean, it's been a blessing I found this place. It's, it's like a family atmosphere here. I mean, when somebody eats, everybody eats, you know what I'm saying? And no drugs, no alcohol. You ain't got to worry about nobody going in your tent, stealing your stuff, none of that. I mean, I sleep with my, well, my door, well, my screen, my screen, <laughs> I sleep with my screen open, you know? Yeah, man, it's, you know, it's like a family atmosphere here, man. It's really cool, man. We weed all the bad apples out. Really, we do. If you had three wishes, what would they be? Oh, man. One was uh, everybody, we get a permanent spot. Two would be that, I mean, every homeless person that really needs a place to stay, man, you know, come together at their own community and show the big wigs, you know what I'm saying, that, you know what I'm saying, we're, we're just simple people too, man. And, and three, get out in Alaska on a boat processing, man. <laughs> yeah. Well, thank you very much for talking to me. All right. Pretty handy with a hammer, huh?